I didn't intend to start a climate change nonprofit or any nonprofit for that matter. My husband and I decided we were going to move to California and we came to Marin County and love it and have loved it ever since. And we had a date night and we went to see An Inconvenient Truth. And that was a really uh, big change in my life when I saw that. And it's not for the reason that most people think. I think a lot of people walked out of there and thought, our planet's on fire, we've got to do something. And I experienced that also. But mine was a more of an emotional connection because uh, Al Gore shared in the film that he nearly lost his son. And he said that he was in the hospital for a month by his bedside. And he said, you know, when his son was in, in that condition, that it took his world and it shook it, it turned it upside down and it shook it until everything fell off and nothing else mattered. And when our son was two and a half, we had a very similar experience. And uh, he was in the hospital for weeks and there were hot doctors from around the world and they didn't know if they could save him. And, uh, you know, when you go through something like that, it of course was horrible at the time and he's fine now, he's in college. Um, but when you go through something like that and you viscerally understand what it's like to lose everything you care about, for me, that was a calling. I just said, I'm, I know climate change is gonna threaten my kids and their children and I can't stand by and watch. I have to try to do something about it. Um, so we started Cool the Earth.